Miami and Mario Cristobal have fired offensive coordinator Josh Gaddis. Now, Gaddis was hired just one year ago from Michigan after winning the Broyles Award as the nation's top assistant coach. Miami's offensive results were, to put it nicely, not up to par this year. Tyler Van Dyke, uh, the stud quarterback, did not perform anywhere close to what he did in his freshman season in 2021 before missing three games with a shoulder injury. The Miami offense averaged 367 yards per game. That was good for number 86 in FBS. And the Hurricanes only averaged 3.7 yards per rush this season, which is not good, especially for a crystal ball offense. Gaddis was not the only change on the offensive side of the ball this offseason. Uh, Frank Ponce, the quarterback's coach and passing game coordinator, he left Miami to return to his former job as the uh, App State offensive coordinator. So where does Mario Cristobal go next? Uh, my first guess would be Marcus Arroyo, who was just fired after three years as the head coach at UNLV. Uh, Arroyo was Willie Taggart's OC at Oregon. He remained in the position under Cristobal in 2018 and 2019. He helped develop, uh, I guess you could say, quote unquote, uh, the quarterback Justin Herbert. Although, uh, let's not kid ourselves, they didn't fully utilize him the way that most offenses would have. Uh, another potential name to watch here might be James Coley. Uh, the Athletic actually put this out there. He's a, he's a Miami native. Former Hurricanes OC from 2013 through 2015, uh, he is the current co-offensive coordinator and wide receivers coach at Texas A&M. Uh, Coley was Cristobal's offensive coordinator in 2007 at FIU. Now, my thoughts on this are that Gaddis flaming out is not super surprising, right? Like, Gaddis has had issues butting heads with coaches and administrators in the recent past, including with Mike Loxley at Alabama, uh, and he burned multiple bridges at Michigan on his way to Miami. Now, he's only been an offense coordinator for four years at this point, uh, but truth be told, he was an excellent recruiter as a wide receivers coach at Penn State and Alabama prior to his stint at Michigan, which did not see an offensive drop-off after he left. So we'll see what ends up happening with Gaddis after this. Psst. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and of course, jump in the comments. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.